Drugstore the other day. Where did we go? Walgreens, Walgreens, Rainbows, and Rite Yes. A lot of new stuff coming out. So my haul is a slight bit bigger than Cammy's, but we're gonna like do this together anyways. So we can start out with the things that we both got. We got different colors, and they're the new Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel, and I really like the brush on these. They have what do they not need? They don't need light. Light. So. Supposed to be like a gel polish, one step. You don't need a base or top coat, I believe. So the colors that we got were Stay Classy, which is a mauve kind of pink. Uh, Under My Plum, which is on my nails right now. And Lavender Out Loud, which is a lavender color. And I got Power Outage, which is just a black. And then on my nails right now is Left Marooned. And mm -hmm. my nails are super chipped. So they well. chip really fast. Super this fast. polish, I mean, it was chipping by that evening. My nails are yeah. so gross. And the left maroon is not as dark. No, as it's it bright like red. Um, it's a lot more red than it is like that mm -hmm. deep maroon color, but it does chip. They're really cheap though. What were they like a buck 99 or something? Yeah. So, so it's you it for. But they are pretty, pretty colors, but they do chip really, really fast. Um, I'm going to show a few like older things that are not necessarily new at the drugstore, but we're Either repurchase or first time use. These are the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. This is in the Brightener Eliminator. Have you ever used this before? I have not. It's awesome. So Actually. it's got like a little spongy tip thing. This one's a pinky one, so that's gonna brighten under your eyes. So this one's really great. I've gone through many of these and I decided to repurchase it. I love this. Then I decided to pick up a couple of the True Match Super Blendable Concealers in N123 and C123. The cool one, because it's a little bit more pinky tone, so it's gonna be a little bit more brightening. And then the neutral, just for like a skin tone concealer. So this one's a little bit more pinky. That one's gonna be a little bit more like normal, <gasps> neutral. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Two new foundations that I got. The first is this Revlon Colorstay 2-in-1 Compact Makeup and Concealer. You guys know I love the Wit, and I love the regular Revlon Colorstay. Have you tried, ever, ever tried? Revlon color stay? I have it actually. Do you like it? I do like it. Okay. She likes it too. I like it whipped. <laughs> I like the whipped too. Did you try the whipped? I have tried the whipped. Okay. So this is supposed to be a compact one and then it has a concealer. So I got mine in the shade 150 buff and I'm excited to try this. If you want to see a first impressions review, comment down below and thumbs up this video. Uh, but yeah, the color match seemed pretty good when I tested it on my hand and I'm interested to see if it's the same as the other formulas, just like a little bit more of a... I don't know. Thinner? It looks like it'd be thinner because it's, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look super full coverage, so we'll see. The other one, which I'm wearing today, is the True Match Lumi Cushion. I have a first impression slash review demo going up today, which this, it'll already be up by the time this goes up. But my shade is N2. I also got N3.5. It has the little cushion, the tray, and then you have all the foundation like saturated in a little thing. And do you know what I realized when I was filming the video for this? What? Yeah. It's only half an ounce. Where most foundations are a full ounce, it's only half an ounce. And it was 16 bucks for half an ounce. So it's smaller. And smaller. Just expensive. And even more expensive. Yeah. Does it feel light though? But it feels good. I like this. It looks good on your face. Thanks. It's really smooth. So I really like this um, a lot. So I definitely recommend that one. You want to talk about your blushy blush? Oh yes. So I don't normally wear a lot of blush, but Cassie put some on me at New Year's and I got the Wet n Wild Rose Champagne. Which that's a new color, I think, because I've never seen that color. It's like a, kind of like a dusty, almost bronze looking color. Like it's not quite so pink. Oh, well, you definitely can't see it on my hand. It's, oh, I it's very neutrally. Like you can see, yeah. It. Like it's this brush is like a serious it's job. Awesome. It's so small. It's kind of like a. I don't even know if it's gonna pull up very well, but it's a very neutral, like peachy. On my skin tan. tone, it, it definitely comes off a little more like bronzy. bronzy. Yeah, and with a brush, I feel like it applies to your face better than trying to do finger swatches sometimes. Yeah, it's hard to show, but it actually is a really pretty color, and it was like three bucks. So yeah, super cheap. 
A blush that I'm loving, I'm wearing it today, and I've been wearing it every day since I picked it up, is the new CoverGirl True Blend Blush. They have three different colors. I think they have like a light rose, medium rose, and then like a deep rose. So this one is the medium rose, and I want to pick up the other shades because I love it so much. But it's a baked, like mineralized blush, but it's seriously so pretty. That's what oh, I'm yeah. looks really pretty. It blends beautifully. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. Really, really pretty. Um, if you go to Walgreens, always go to the beauty counter and ask if they have coupons because sometimes they have manufacturer coupons that they don't advertise that they have them and you can get a few dollars off. So I'll stick with CoverGirl and show you, show you a few more products. These I think are going back because I think they're awful. And these are the Oh Sugar Jelly and Candy CoverGirl Lip something or rather. This one is Candy Bonbon. These were $10. I think it's buy one, get one half off. $10 for one, $5 for the other. Um, I would never spend $10 on something one that is so sheer. And look how sheer that is. Like $10, no thanks. Yeah, I'd rather like spend $16 and get a MAC lipstick that actually has exactly. pigment. Oh, this one I didn't even open because I didn't even want to. It's a vitamin infused balm, which I didn't really pay attention to the fact that it said balm. But still, I'm not gonna spend $10 on a drugstore lip balm. So those are going back. Was not impressed with those. The pigmentation is lacking. It doesn't really have a good scent. And I just, I have lip balms that cost just as much that work really well. So. The next cover girl thing is this little palette. They have three different ones, goldens, neutrals, and I think roses. They have the neutral and the golden one there. And it says shades like a $50 eyeshadow palette. Um, it's supposed to be like a naked palette. Basically. Yeah. So it comes with a sponge tip applicator, which is awful. I picked this one because it had colors that I don't usually use or don't already own, which are more like the green golden shades. I have a lot of neutrals and I have a lot of rosy tone. But first of all, let's see, I don't even know if you'll be able to see. When I put my finger in here, it's literally crumbling all over the place. They're so soft that they just crumble and the pigmentation really is not super, super great. So you're gonna get a ton of fallout. And I just, I don't know, I wasn't, Incredibly impressed. Those shimmer ones aren't too bad. Um, but it looks better on camera. It does. It does. It looks a little bit better on camera. And they're so soft and crumbly that one, you're going to have a ton of fallout. And two, it's li literally falling, it's falling, off, falling off, off right now. Yeah, yeah onto our, our black pants. pants. <laughs> um, so it's crumbly. I have a feeling that these are the kind of shadows that once you start blending them, they'll just blend away to nothing. Like as you blend it, it's going to just disappear. Because mm -hmm. as I blend them with my fingers, they're literally going away. Yep. So. Wasn't super impressed. A few people commented that the rose one is pretty, so I don't know if the formula might be a little bit different, but I was not impressed with this to spend however much it was. Let me see. I'm curious how much this was. 11 bucks. No, $13. So this is 13 bucks, and it's not, no good. I'm not impressed with that. Picked up a couple mascaras, and I've tried one of them. I tried the Revlon volume and length, Really wasn't impressed by it. I like the brush, but the formula just, I didn't add, I feel like it added any volume. Like it lengthened them and it separated them, but I felt like I looked like I had less lashes. But I like a natural bristle brush, which is what this one is. But I don't know, it's really hard for me to find anything I like better than my Too Faced Better Than Sex. So this one I was like not super excited about. The other one is the Dramatic Definition. The packaging is super cool. It's like matte. Really and flat. then shiny. Yeah, and a lot of their lip stuff is like this now too. This one is a rubber wand. I don't know, I haven't tried that one yet. It is the Voluminous Superstar from L'Oreal. And I love the regular Carbon Black Voluminous. Me too, it's my favorite. It's one of my all time favorite drugstores. So this one looked interesting. It has a primer on one side, and then it has the mascara on the other side. And I just, I love these kind of wands, like the actual bristles. Not the rubbery ones. And this looks like their natural bristles. It'll fit to my eye. Yeah. The best. So I'm excited to try this out. And then do you want to show your eye product that you got? Yes. So I typically wear like a, the Kat Von D tattoo liner on top. But then I don't ever wear anything on my waterline. Yes. That's what it's called. Yeah. I don't ever wear anything on my waterline. So Cassie recommended Maybelline's Lasting Drama Gel Pencil. Um, and I wore it on New Year's. No, I didn't. I wore it the other day, tried it at home, and I really like it. It goes on super smooth. It's really, really black. It makes me feel like 
Cleopatra, yeah, which really I'm obsessed blessed. with. And I even went on my top line and just darkened it because I could never have my eyeliner black enough. Oh. And it didn't like smear or anything. So, so it stayed put really well. It stayed on really well. It didn't smear. It stayed on really well, it didn't smear, which is a big deal for me because I like to wear a lot of eyeliner and whenever it creases up there, I just get super mad. So, A, A plus for this guy. And I have the one in nude, the same one, but nude. And I really like it. I think the color is called Soft Nude. Um, it has a slight bit of a sheen to it. It looks like a soft little sheen. But this is a great one to put in your waterline, your lower waterline if you um, want to open up your eyes. So I'm definitely a fan of dark liner on my waterline. I just always have been, but I'm trying to branch out and do like a little bit lighter and brighten that up. So pick that one up and I do like that. Uh, there's a new brow pencil, which I'm excited about. We're both fans of the Anastasia Brow Wiz and Urban Decay has one that's like the Anastasia one and so does NYX. But this is the L'Oreal Brow Style Definer Ultra Fine Tip Shaping Pencil in Brunette. And it looks just like identical, identical to the Anastasia, the spoolie, like the size of the like little pencil. And it's, yeah. yeah. So I'm really excited about this one because. And how much was that one? Good question. This yeah. one, which is yeah. $8. Less so, than half. Yeah. Oh. And it's cheaper than the next one. The next one is 10 and this one was eight. And then the last thing that I got was the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour kit this is in medium the light one had like this powder was almost white and then the dark one was this one was more yellow but it comes with this really super interesting <clears throat> i'm hitting puberty sorry <clears throat> it comes with a super interesting like little brush i don't know how i feel about it you're supposed to it's usually dip it in both sides boink, boink. and then just go yeah which i mean in theory that sounds like it'd be really nice but that's not how we apply our makeup. So, uh, these are the two colors though. They're really pretty. It's kind of like a taupey, taupey brown and then a really pretty champagne highlight. So, I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera very well, but it looks really pretty. I have not tried it yet though. So I'll get back to you guys on that one. I love the infallible line, so I'm okay, excited. It's really pretty. It is, it's like a nice champagne color. And then you have your last, your last one. Yes, my last one is the little blender. What real techniques? Real beauty techniques. sponge. Beauty sponge, excuse me. So I recently have been wearing the Becca mm -hmm. Luminous, Aqua Luminous. Aqua Luminous Foundation, which is really light. So for me personally, I don't like putting it on with this because I feel like it I'm more like it smearing up. it around versus like actually putting it in with my skin. But whenever I was doing like touch ups and stuff with this and then working on a little bit of like contour this was awesome yeah and I it's it. really good for concealer yeah and um even powder like if you powder your face put that in your powder in your powder mm. and then it like helps set it and it keeps it from like looking super powdery good to know yeah thank you you're welcome mm -hmm. so that was our drugstore haul we have some fun videos coming up for you guys the whisper challenge not my arms challenge We'll find something else to do. Ooh, you should do the bean boozled challenge with me where you eat the gross jelly beans. Mm -hmm. I've already done I it on my channel. Reaction, so. Yeah, well I've already done it and it's really bad, but I'd totally do it. You haven't done it with me. I've so, not done it with her. So, better. yeah. So if you think of any weird ideas, leave them in the below. comments below. Thumbs up this video and let us know what you got from the drugstore, some of your favorite products. If you want reviews on any of this stuff, then leave them in the comments below and we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Okay, the next <laughs> <laughs> the next one.